Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna to be doing a really quick video on how to strip your cups. I get asked this a lot from people and it's a super simple process. I'm going to preface this video by saying there are many ways to strip a cup and I know that we all kind of do it differently. Uh, I just wanna say that this way is how I feel safest doing it. Um, I've tried a few different methods and this one has just been my favorite that I've used over the years. Now, I do also want to warn you guys that you do need to follow, you know, some safety guidelines when you're doing this. You can't see my video or you can't see my video. You can't see my face <laughs> during the video, but I am wearing an organic vapor respirator a full face one the whole time that I'm filming this video. Also, we're filming this in a garage with both doors open, so we have a lot of airflow. Normally, I would do all of this kind of work outside, um, even with a respirator, you know, I would still do it outside. So be safe, acetone is a dangerous chemical. Uh, the vapors from acetone are flammable, so do not do this to, you know, near an open flame or like a furnace with an open flame or pilot light because um, it is dangerous. Uh, so anyway, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Also, this channel is so close to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you all who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you everyone who supports the Flynn Sisters community. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell button also so you don't miss a new tutorial. I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. All right, so that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna start off with uh, double gloved hands. Normally, you would wanna have some gloves that were acetone resistant. However, I couldn't source any in time <laughs> for this tutorial. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna use some foil, a gallon Ziploc bag, some 100% acetone, and some paper towels. Um, what I'm going to do is just get a little length of foil here and a length of paper towels and then we're going to wrap the cup in the paper towel. You do not want to fold the ends of that paper towel into the inside of the cup because we don't want to have like a concentration of fluid going inside of the cup. So try to situate your paper towel and your foil so that it's not going to be going inside of the cup if you can. Uh, and I created like a little well with a foil that's gonna help me to pour the acetone without it spilling out everywhere. And then you're just gonna pour your acetone right over the cup. I would say about a quarter cup or so depending on the size of the cup and what you have on there. Like if it's a bunch of layers of epoxy or if it's just paint or if it's just glitter you know what I mean. So we're going to tighten up the foil around the cup. I'm going to put it in this bag. I'm going to fully seal the bag and then I'm going to leave this in a safe place to sit overnight. Um, I leave mine in the floor of my garage in a place where like kids or pets can't get to it. Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, here with this cup, there's just a layer of paint on it and nothing else. There was no epoxy. This is a thicker pouring paint, so that's why I'm going to strip it in this way instead of just wiping it down with paint thinner. It's going to come off a lot easier for me this way.
All right, so I just repeated that same process for all the cups that we're gonna be stripping in this session. And I'm gonna make sure they're sealed up tightly and in a safe place. And I'm gonna let them sit overnight. Um, at least 24 hours, you're gonna wanna let these sit. Um, and again, make sure you're leaving them in a safe place. All right, so these all have sat for over 24 hours and now we are ready to finish cleaning them up. So um, I just take them out of the bag one by one. Make sure you keep the bag sealed in between um, cups. You don't want any of the acetone to evaporate before we're ready for it to. And I just take it out of its little foil package there and everything just pretty much wipes right off. I use the acetone that's left on the paper towel in there to pull off all of the big spots and then I'll go through with a clean paper towel and some more acetone um, to remove the remainder. Now, um, I do sand my cups to prep them and I use a primer spray paint um, before I do anything on my cups. So it is a little bit of a struggle to get these fully cleaned, but it's not really that bad. And really the longer that you let these sit in the bags, the easier it is to remove everything. All right, and here's a cup that has epoxy on it. It has large sections of vinyl and glitter. And I'm just going to pull that paper towel down tightly around the cup. And as I'm pulling down, it's just going to pull all the epoxy, all the glitter, all the vinyl with it. So you see all the pieces in there. I'm gonna use what remaining acetone um, there is on that paper towel to wipe some more stuff off. You'll see all the pieces of glitter and epoxy fall down there. Uh, and you just want to do your best um, with the acetone and paper towel to get all the spray paint off. All right, and I'll also use 91% rubbing alcohol. Um, that'll help clean up some of the additional residue that's left on there. And I just put a spray nozzle in the top of my bottle of rubbing alcohol, and that'll just help me get it on the cup. Um, and then just using a little bit more uh, fresh acetone on a clean paper towel to get the remaining bits off. So here's one that probably could have sat a little longer. This one does have a couple layers of glitter. It also had some Mod Podge on there. Anytime I have Mod Podge on a cup plus epoxy method glitter, I have a really hard time getting it off. Um, I'm using a acrylic scraper uh, to scrape off these hard bits that won't come off, but you can use any kind of like paint scraper or whatever you have on hand. Um, just be safe. Don't scrape your skin off <laughs> on accident. Uh, and this is just helping me to loosen off some of those parts that are still stuck on the cup. Now you do want to make sure that you are wearing gloves when you're doing this because uh, the stuff that you're scraping off here is sticky. It's gross. It's toxic. Um, so make sure you are doing this in a well-ventilated area. Make sure you have gloves on. Make sure you have an organic vapor respirator on while you're doing this. Um, you want to have uh, lots of ventilation in the area you're doing this in. So after I scraped off all those large bits, I'm just going in again with a clean paper towel and some fresh acetone. And uh, this one, I, I did have to work at it a little bit. You're going to see me go in with some 60 grit sandpaper and that's going to help uh, loosen off those remaining um, spots of glitter. All 
Okay, so after I've got these all cleaned up, I make sure that I go through on the inside with some rubbing alcohol and get the inside completely clean and free of any residue. Um, the reason why I like to use rubbing alcohol and acetone on these um, is because I know for certain that they're not going to leave behind any residue. Products like Citrus Strip and things like that, um, there is that possibility that they will leave behind some residue and you'd have to go over it again with acetone anyway to make sure you do get all that residue off. So I just prefer to use rubbing alcohol and acetone. You wanna make sure that you properly dispose of all of the waste that you've created when you uh, do, do these strip sessions. Uh, and what I'll do is I will um, take all of the waste left over and put them back into one of the plastic bags. And then I will let that acetone that's left in there to fully evaporate before I throw the waste into my garbage can. Um, you don't want to have any kind of sealed acetone going into your large garbage cans that are being picked up by the garbage service um, just because it's it is a hazardous chemical so you'll want to let all of that acetone fully evaporate before you throw all this waste away also make sure that you clean up any kind of scraping tools that you use during this process because that once that stuff is stuck on there it is not coming off <laughs> so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys found this helpful next time you need to start over on a cup that got messed up or something um, anyway, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you soon. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.